Hi, welcome back to my channel. I think I got niacinamide in my eyeball. But anyway, we're gonna be doing a full face of super affordable products today. We are going to be doing a full face of essence. Yes, essence. So... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you have not yet, please hit that like, follow, or subscribe button. I will also post my Instagram um, and my other social media things. I would really appreciate it if you would like to subscribe or comment. Ooh, comment. Yes. I love comments, um, even the bad ones. So you should do that. But anyway, uh, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching me. <laughs> um, today we're going to do a full face of essence products. I believe that I bought a full face. I have never tried. I don't believe anything by essence. And I was kind of looking at stuff online and I realized how affordable of a brand it is. I'm not sure about the quality because again, I've never tried it. So we're going to do that today. Um, yeah, we're just going to do a full face. So see what it comes out. Hopefully it's not shit. Hopefully it comes out really awesome. So, uh, cause I always, you know, I like high end products too, but, um, I know I'm not made of money. Me either. What a small world. So I also like super affordable options and also for you guys as well. So, uh, we're going to get started. There's so many products. So this is going to be a longer video. I apologize, uh, up front for that, but we're going to see how all of these play together and what kind of the quality of each product is and how we like it and how it looks on my face. So I don't have anything on my face except for some hyaluronic acid serum and some niacinamide serum. That's it. You can see all my blemishes, my freckles, my face. You can see my face. So we are going to start. We're just going to start out. Sorry. I haven't uh, posted in an, a little while. I think it's been like a week. I had some family fly into town from out of state. So this is cracked. Why is this cracked? There's like a, it looks like somebody, uh, got happy with the box cutter right here. looks like someone got happy with that box cutter a little much, a little much, but that's not our first, that's not our first product. So Backtrack. We are going to go in with a primer first and I have the hydrating and skin refreshing primer. This says it has coconut water and hyaluronic acid. 24 hour hydration is what it says. So that would be cool if that actually does that because we need all of the hydration and you need all of the hydration. Hydration is good. Even if you have oily skin, hydrate. That's what I call a quality tool. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Say that three times fast. Um, I apparently can't. Uh, this says extra kick of moisture infused with coconut water and hyaluronic acid, 24 hour hydration, blah, 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 less visible, even skin tone, use alone or under foundation. So we're gonna try that. And I will put the prices of everything down below as well, but everything I think is like under $5, I do believe. So it's a squeezy tube. We're gonna put some on our hand. That seems like a nice kind of hydrating formula. Yeah. It feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't really feel like a primer. It does feel like a moisturizer. I like that. It does have a scent, like a perfumed skincare kind of smell. Like not like roses. Maybe, maybe there's a hint of rose in there. Yeah. Maybe like roses and flowers. That's kind of what it smells like. So if you do not like scented products, this primer would not be for you because it is pretty highly scented. All right. That went on nice. It feels moisturizing, feels kind of plumping. That's probably the hyaluronic acid. Also, I just put some on by itself. So there's that, but yeah, we'll see how this does and how this plays, but it looks, I mean, looks, <laughs> you can't see it. It feels nice. What the fuck? That was a weird noise. It feels nice. <laughs> Yeah, it feels nice. So we're gonna go in. <laughs> so I got the Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. This also has Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. It says 24 hour long lasting hydration. It does not say 24 hour wear, but it does say 24 hour hydration. So I got mine in the shade 010 Cool Porcelain. 
Um, this color looks very dark for me, so I super, super hope that that's not the actual color. That's not in English. Um, it has hyaluronic acid, aloe, 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturization. Natural coverage, weightless skin feel, and it's vegan. Uh, so that's cool. It's made in Italy. I didn't know that such a uh, price cost effective brand would be made in Italy. You'd think more like China, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's just nice and simple. Just, you know, normal cheap packaging. What did you call me? It does come sealed. We like that. We like a seal. So this does look like a better color than what it looked like on the box. We're just going to put a little bit. It kind of almost looks like a tinted moisturizer kind of feel. Just a much more lightweight, which I like lightweight foundations. So fuck. I forgot to um, wet my beauty blender, so I'll be right back. I'm back. Hi. Yeah. Hi. So that's what it looks like. We have a wet sponge now. All right. So I'm going to see. And I am going to put this on with a sponge because I like the sheer coverage, but I want to see what this looks like. We might need to add a little bit more. This one smells a little more like foundation, but a little bit like aloe. It smells a little more skin carry and not so like flower fragrance to the dome kind of thing. This might be, if it goes on well, a cost effective kind of tinted moisturizer ish option for the summertime. Sorry. Sorry. I have been really liking the Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop. This one, I'll link a video, something in my eye. There's always something in my eyeball. Okay. I will link that right here. And I do, I have been really liking that one. I think we're going to need a little bit more of this. This is like super sheer. So almost like a, like a skin tint, which I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at skin tints unless they're water and then they're not my favorite. But yeah. I really don't see this evening out skin tone. Um, you can still see kind of my red blotchy areas on my cheeks. It does feel hydrating. Um, it's not covering up my freckles, which is fine. I don't expect a skin tint or a tinted moisturizer to do that. You like my hair like that. It's awesome. And it doesn't cover up any of the veininess and my eyeballs on my eyelids, which is fine. Again, it does go on nicely though. It could just kind of like, like your skin soaks it up, which is nice. Nothing blurs your pores. None of my pores are blurred or anything like that, but, and it doesn't necessarily cover up my, my redness kind of around here. Uh, but I'm not mad at it. Like super lightweight. It's not going to cover up any of your blemishes. So don't expect it to, but super lightweight. I just, I like it. It's, it's a nice skin tint. That's just lovely. It is lovely. It's a lovely, just like an everyday, especially if you're going to be out in like summer with the sun and the, the rays and the, the heat. We're going to go in with concealer. So I got the camouflage matte concealer. It says it's waterproof and tattoo covering. We will see about that. Ultra covering liquid concealer with matte finish. Instantly covers dark circles, blemishes, and tattoos. All right, all right. This is also made in Italy. That's what the doe foot looks like. It's that pear diamond shape thing. This also has that flowery scent. I don't, oh, it's like overpoweringly as I put it under my nose. So we're going to see how this blends out, especially with such a lightweight skin tint. We're going to see if there's any caveats of wearing them together. The reason I put concealer under my nose is not to brighten that area, by the way. It's because I'm so white. I have these veins that come out right here and they're very noticeable and I don't like them. So it is, uh, I got it in my eyeball. So there is uh, some decent coverage happening. Jesus, I smell like an 80 year old grandma though. Good God. Like that really horrible old lady perfume. I'm not discriminating, but you know the scent that I'm talking about. Like if someone dumped a bottle of Elizabeth Arden into this concealer. Now we're going to go in with the Essence My Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. Instant blur effect, natural matte finish is what it says. I got mine in the color 10 light. This is the one that I showed you where it looks like someone got super box cutter happy right here. Yeah, I know because I worked retail. So it's vegan, ultra fine, silky smooth, loose powder, flawless finish all day long. I really wish people would stop saying that because 90% of the time that's not accurate and it's not true and it's a lie. So we'll see. I will do a check-in at the end of the day for this video. 
to see how all of these products have lasted. You know, probably not like the lip products and shit, but this face, my face, just skin, how that lasted. Hopefully I have skin by the end of the day. Okay, their face products smell like potpourri. They, they smell, I can't, I've already said, I've said what I've said. Back hurts from sitting here like this. Should I just, I'm gonna film like this. I'm gonna arch my back. I'm gonna film like this. I'm gonna have T-Rex arms. Does that work for you? On to bronzer. I got the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder for lighter skin. It looks like that. I don't remember how many shades this came in. This is an 01 Natural. It says matte bronzing powder for a naturally sun-kissed tan, perfect for lighter skin types in this color. Also made in Italy. That smells like coconuts. That smells like, not necessarily coconuts, it smells like, like cocoa butter. It's exactly what it smells like. It's pressed really hard. So I actually like that because that means that I can build it. It's pressed super hard. I'm really going in ham in this and there's like no kickback. So that's awesome. That also means that hopefully I will not have an orange face. That's a little orange, but I'm blending. 